Shalom, shalom. This week's parasha is Kitabo. And in it, Moshe talks about the blessings that will follow if the nation follows in God's ways, listens to his commandments, and the curses that they will incur if they do not do so. And interestingly, at the end of the parsha, the very end, Moshe says and he, that you've seen everything Hashem did before your eyes in the land of Egypt to Paro and his servants in all his lands, the great trials your eyes beheld, and the great signs and wonders. Um, but, and this is the part I'm going to read in Hebrew, and then I will explain it in English. Lo natan Hashem lachem lev ladaat ve'enayim l'rot v'azayim l'shmoa ad hayom azeh. But God did not give you a heart to know eyes to see and ears to hear until this day. And then he goes on to say, um, you know, that, that, that they're going to go to war and when Sihon and Og and that they should follow the words, follow the covenant of God, the Brit, the Torah, um, and do all of it so that you'll be successful. Now, my question is, First, Moshe says, you saw everything, all the signs and wonders that God did um, in Mitzrayim. So, yes, they saw it, but he says, but he didn't give you a heart to understand and eyes to see and ears to hear until today. Now, what does that mean? Well, first of all, he already said that they saw, and obviously we know, I can't be talking literally, they had eyes and ears and a heart and they were all working. So what is he trying to say what didn't they get what didn't they know what didn't they understand until this day and why what what is what was that magical day that all of a sudden now that they are they they have this knowledge of the heart and ability to really see and understand here uh what what is and i think that what it there's a secret here a, a a little hint that explains really the way that mankind works um there's a concept that uh jewish people don't learn kabbalah until they are 40 years old and the reason being um is that 40 more or less is indicative of an age where people have the the depth where, where they're grounded, where they can understand things on a different level than they were able to understand all their lives before then. And that's because why all of a sudden their years of adulthood has now equaled their years of, of being a child and growing into that adulthood. And they have life experience and that everything that they've gone through in life and everything that they know, even if they might have not known these things um, for a long time, or even as a child, they now understand it through the lens of an adult, of an experienced person who's hopefully, you know, been working on themselves and come to a place where they're grounded in life and they understand things on a whole nother level of wisdom that one can't have unless they have years um, underneath their belt. There are certain things that really time and maturity and life occurrences um, teach you in a whole new way. And at this point in the juncture, it had been 40 years that the nation was in the desert. And although that in the very beginning in their infancy, they saw that God took them out and there was all these signs and miracles. Um, and so they saw they, they they did see it um and so that they they understood that there was a god but it wasn't until 40 years of experiencing god in the desert of really um getting to know god without any distractions that's why moshe also says god you know you didn't have that bread to eat or the wine or or uh, alcoholic substance to get drunk Meaning you had just total clarity of mind because bread, you know, with all that uh, filling up your belly and wine, which intoxicates you, make your, your uh, perceive things in a different way. No, you had clarity 
of mind and body for 40 years of living with God going before you. And after all that experience of God um, in your maturity, you're standing and understanding things from a whole new vantage point in one where at this point, if they don't get it, if they don't get it, they'll never get it. And then that's the point where really they're going to go into the land and you have to keep this in mind and keep the mitzvah that God that you now know and experienced and fully aware that he is your God has given you. If you keep those, you will have a blessing. And if you don't, you won't. In the opposite. God says, if you don't want to follow my ways and have me, uh, you know, be with you and, and acknowledge me and, and help come to me for help to guide you in your life. If you don't want that, then I won't be there. And then what happens when we're left into the hands of mankind is, as we've seen, could be a total, total nightmare. If we don't have God's providence watching over us for illness, if we don't have God's providence watching us over the other nations, it's a scary and dangerous place, but we decide if we want God's connection or not. We make that decision. And God says, you know, follow my ways. He wants what's good for us. Um, we just have to want it as well and acknowledge it. With that, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.